guys and welcome back to another video here with Crafty Mama. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what I'm going to do today is a requested video. Um, I, I believe it was yesterday I uploaded a video where I designed a bookmark in Photoshop. Um, and a lot of people requested that I um, design a bookmark in Canva, which is totally understandable because like most of, well, a good like 95% of my channel is through Canva. Um, I was just trying to, like I said, I'm trying to learn Photoshop. So I was just trying to do something a little different, but I guess most people use Canva still, which is totally fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to design a bookmark in um, Canva today. Um, I'm just going to dive right into it. This is my Canva, <clears throat> my Canva homepage. We're going to go up to create a design and our custom dimensions are going to be in inches. The ones that I did in the other video, it was a three by eight. And I like that size, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, stick with it. If you wanna make yours a little bit smaller, um, you can, but I like the three by eight. So I have my blank canvas here, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this pink. These are my brand colors that I've already uploaded into Canva. I do use Canva Pro. Um, in Canva Pro, you can create a brand kit with your colors so that whenever you want to do something in, for your brand, you don't have to go up here and type it and search and all that stuff. It's just already right here. So these are my brand colors for my business. So I'm going to go ahead and make the background black. I I'm sorry, make it pink. Um... And I'm going to go to uploads here and I'm going to upload my girls. Um, here's one. I think I have to input the rest of them. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull them up here. I think it was under this one. Yep. And I purchased these girls from um, Feathers of Style. And I'm going to upload one more. Uh, no, I already have her. I'll do this one. Okay. So now I have all three girls here. Um, and then I also need my logo. Uh, I guess I have to upload that too. Okay, so I have my logo and I have my three girls here. And you can just input whatever, you know, images you want to use. Go ahead and input them onto your canvas. Now I'm just going to place them, place them and size them. And you see how, uh oh, you see how she's behind this girl. I need her to come to the front. So I'm just going to make sure she's clicked, position, forward. So now she's on top. Okay. All right. Now I got my three girls here. And then I think I had a circle here. So we're just going to go in elements. You're going to select your circle. And I'm going to turn it black. And I'm just going to resize it. Uh, 
Okay. Now, the difference between this one and um, Photoshop is that I can't add a stroke to the circle. I'm going to have to add a border. So I'm going to have to find a round border in, uh, uh, I'm sorry, in Canva. So, okay, so this one should work. So you're going to get a round border and you're going to have to add it to it versus the stroke, which is what we did in Photoshop yesterday. And we're going to turn this, um, let's do this light pink. And then you want to make it the same size. As the circle that you already have here. And you just want to try to make sure it's lined up as much as you can get it. Okay, and I want to group these together, the circle and the border, so that if I move one, I can move, you know, I can move both of them. So I'm just going to highlight it, just those two, and select group. So now I can move the whole circle, the, the circle and the border together. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to ungroup this and I'm going to change the color of the border because it's the same color as her outfit and I want it to be a little bit different. Okay, yeah, I'm going to make it that color, which is just a pastel pink. I'm just going to move that up a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to get our text. You're going to get a text box, and I type secure a bag with an exclamation mark, and I want to change that font to, what do I want the font to be? I'm going to make this pink so that I can see it inside the box. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I like this one, but I'm gonna space it. See how it's kind of overlapping? I'm just gonna space it, put a little bit of space between the words so they're not overlapping. Okay. Now for this, um, I think I made the letters white. Um, one new feature that I haven't talked about on my YouTube channel yet about Canva that they added is the effects that you can add to the text. Um, and I do believe that this is only available in the pro version. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to click the text so that it's um, highlighted and I'm going to go up here to effects. And then you can add little effects to it. So I want to add the neon, which is going to make it look like it's highlighted. The only difference is I can't do two effects on the same text, or at least I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Um, so like if I wanted to hollow it, I can hollow it like that. And you see how it kind of takes away the inside of the, the text, like almost creating it like a stroke is kind of what that's for. The only thing I don't like is like I said, you can't do two effects at the same time. So if I wanted to add a stroke to it so the outline would be pink like I did in Photoshop and add a glow to it, I can't do both at the same time. I can only do one or the other. Um. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it, but I do like that they did add these effects. I think that's really cool. So I'm going to leave it white and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the neon glow to it, which is going to give it that effect that it's, you know, lit up. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It looks pretty much the same as the one that I did yesterday in Photoshop, which is this one. 
It looks almost the same, exactly the same. So, I mean, you can design, like I said, you can design in Canva or Photoshop, whichever one you want to do or whichever one you're comfortable with. That's up to you. It doesn't matter. You can almost create the same thing. There's a couple little different things. Like I pointed out um, with Photoshop, I can add a stroke and I can add a glow to the same text with Canva. You can do one or the other. You can't do both. Um, so, you know, small little things like that. Um, I just am learning Photoshop for like logo reasons. But um, other than that, yeah, you can pretty much create the same looks in Photoshop and Canva. So I went ahead and I did this video for everybody that was requesting I do it in Canva just to show you how to do it. I also wanted to show you the effects that they added to Canva um, as well. And like I said, I do believe that is available only in the pro version. Um, so if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know. And I can, um, you know, if you have any uh, video requests, I can definitely try to get them out for you. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.